It's so good to see you and and finally, you know, also Top Gun being out. You just must be on the biggest high right now. Like, did you expect the reaction that it's gotten? Honestly, I mean, I really didn't know what to expect because I've never I've never been a part of something like this. I've been a part of, you know, some things that I think critically did really well. And it certainly brought a level of maybe, you know, an added level of, of attention to me. But I've, I've never been a part of like a huge blockbuster movie. So I really I really didn't know what to expect. But it is. I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty good. That shirtless yeah. scene, I guess I know how hard you guys all work to get that. Now to see it on screen and then see the gif of you dancing, that has gone viral. I know. Well, I was saying that because that's really a dance that like me and my buddies have kind of done just to, when everybody's dancing very seriously, it was just always something we would do to kind of just break the ice a little bit. So it's, but I didn't even know that, honestly, I really didn't even know that the camera was, was on me at that point, to be honest with you. So it was, um, it was a nice surprise when I when I saw the film. It's iconic. It's like a really oh, iconic man. moment. Cool. <laughs> cool. Good. Well, it's Top Gun, man. Hopefully, hopefully you get an iconic moment or two. Dude, so many. And I know everyone's talking about it, but you've now worked with Kaczynski again on this film. So you guys working on your next one yet? Have you talked about it? He replaced me with Brad Pitt for his next one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, t I told him, I said, make sure you tell Brad that um you know he's he's replacing me and and i'll be there for the next one <laughs> come on i think it's now that you and chris and kaczynski all worked on this film together you got to get chris up in an f-18 put him in the flight suit well well something i mean if we do work together again it's going to be it's going to be over here because that was that's a long flight to go if you want to film with chris hello again sorry i'm late mr epnesty not late at all Oh my goodness, you guys are so good together. Thank you, thank you. He's, uh, I mean, Chris, I just think everybody, any actor who works with Chris will will benefit from him because he's just such a, you know, wonderful guy, but he's really an incredible actor. And I think people are starting to notice that more and more. He is amazing, but you, and, and you are just so incredible, dude. Like you are so good and you make the best choices every time. And I think you make incredible choices with your roles in general. So what was it about this role and playing Jeff, like, why did you want to play him? Well, thank you for saying that. Um, I, I think with this, I just, I, I found it to be a really kind of challenging performance. And I knew that when I read the script, I think there were a lot of things being asked of Jeff and performance wise when, you know, you're not even in control of your own emotions all the time because you have this, you know, dark Lord of Australia messing around with your, you know, with his little iPhone and, um, you know, that makes it challenging, but I, I just really had a lot of empathy for the character of, of Jeff. I think once the audience realizes in the beginning, they know he's kind of going through something, but when you really, once you fully understand what led him into this situation, he was, he was just a guy that I really felt for. And I wanted to see him make it through. I wanted to see him make it out the other side. Time to worry about crossing lines was a lot of lines ago. I also loved getting to see you and Chris like go toe to toe. And I wonder when you read that in the script, were you like, oh crap, I got to go up against Thor. <laughs> well, I was, I was excited that he was, he didn't have all of his armor. You know, he's yeah. not really, he's not such a tough guy when he doesn't have his armor. Um, he's pretty big. <laughs> no, I know he's, no, I know he's big, but Thor <laughs> always wins. So at least in this, I, you know, my character had a, had a shot. Yeah. <laughs> well, were you still in Top Gun shape at this point or no, it's been a couple years. <laughs> I was not, I was not in Top Gun shape, but I was in, I was in good enough shape knowing that I had to, there's a, there was like a shirtless scene in this. So I was, I was in, I was in decent shape. You look pretty good. You look pretty yeah. good. Did you work but, out but with Chris? If you're in, even if you're in really good shape, like at a, as just like a civilian level, it, it <laughs> really doesn't compare to the shape that Chris gets in. He's like the biggest, he's massive, man. Did you train with him when you were out here in Australia? I trained, uh, not, no, not really. Not, not really. I, I worked out with his, his trainer once or twice though. So. Oh, Zaki, the best. Yeah, Zaki. He will yeah, kick your butt too though. I don't know. Oh, oh you shots fired. Yeah, he will, he will. Beautiful people get away with too much, and I say that having benefited myself from time to time. But come on, you must have had an amazing time in Australia, because I know I, like, it was a crazy time in the world too. Everything was kind of shut down. 
I know. No, but honestly, I had、um, I had you know the best time over there. I, it's just really, I couldn't believe how much of the coastline, how like the beaches, man, and, and just how expansive they are, and the and how quickly the landscape can change too. I think that's why it's perfect for filming because you can really any、um, anything you're trying to achieve landscape wise, you guys have it. Yeah, I mean the scenery is stunning in this film. It's so beautiful. Yeah,、the、I was、Whitsundays. even shocked it was Australia. The Whit Sundays, and we filmed at this hotel, the Qualia, which is it immediately became one of my wife and I's like favorite places we've ever been. It's just really, it is. It's I mean it's it's beautiful. Amazing. I also love that still with like the, the success of Top Gun, this film, you're still not on Instagram, are you? Still not doing yeah. it. No,、nah, I don't know. I don't, I don't. I think at this point, I have to just stay, stay off. If I got on it now, people would be like, "Ah,、oh, you sell out." I love it, and I love that your wife is like, "You." She. It's like she's your. She does your gramming for you, and like you don't、yeah. even have to do it. Ex- I mean, exactly. I don't even need one. She's my. She's my unpaid social media manager. I guess. I'm just jealous of people like that. I'm like, how good is your life that you're not on Instagram? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Living the dream. Well, congratulations, Miles. I'm so happy for you. Seriously, you deserve it all, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.